Hi and welcome to this video tutorial with me Wayne from drclean.co.uk. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at ironing knitwear. One major problem with knitwear is that it distorts and warps very easily, especially under heat and under steam. Um, I'm just going to show you something uh, with this particular knitwear. I've got a slight bulge in the top shoulder area where it's got a hanger mark and um, I'm just going to show you what happens when you actually treat uh, just with steam alone on that particular area. And you see that completely disappear, just purely under steam. And I'm back in the I'm not touching this knitwear at all, but you can see that's completely flattened to just with steam. So you have to be very careful with it when it's hot or when it's in the steam. We're going to do up all the buttons of the cardigan so that we can actually shape the knitwear um, as we want it shaped. So we're just going to go right the way down the cardigan. This particular mix is cashmere and lamb's wool, which is quite a nice mix of uh, wools, but it is delicate and it can be fairly expensive, that type of uh, junk or knitwear. Okay, so what we're going to do is with everything, there's an order of how we do things. And what we're going to do here is we're going to start at the top. And the top of this particular garment are the actual sleeves. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay the sleeve on the ironing board absolutely flat as we want it finished. And you can see there I've just got it laid absolutely flat as I want it finished. We've got a rib section at the end which is nicely ribby and there's actually some elasticity in that and that's exactly how it's meant to be. Now I'm going to put on the vacuum and this really is where a vacuum board comes into its own. I'm going to release the steam. All I'm going to do at the moment is run steam you notice I haven't actually touched the garment at all with my arm. All I'm doing is I'm releasing steam through it and letting it dry. If you look at what we've done, we've got a fairly good finish just by doing that. But what we can use in this particular type of garment is we can use our cloth. And if you haven't got the steam that I'm generating, you certainly want to do that. So, put that on. Let's just get that a little bit wet. And I'm going to use my vacuum. You won't have a vacuum necessarily. But now, I'm going to use some heat. Try to push steam into that sleeve. I'm not using a massive amount of energy. I'm not using a, a, a real force. Uh, on that sleeve, I just missed a bit clearly up here because I couldn't get that, so let's just go over that. And so all I'm doing is something in its place. When it's hot, I do not want to manipulate or touch uh, too much this particular sleeve. You can see I've got a fairly good job there. Now I'm just going to go over to the back side of the Literally, wait until the wall is fairly cool before you start moving. I'm going to go to the other sleeve. You should be able to see this slightly closer from the other camera angle. Now notice, I literally just I'm worried about this sleeve, just concerned about this particular sleeve. Put it to its bottom, seam, just put it flat on the I've got that, so, got steam in the rain. So I've let the steam and the heat just dissipate and go away before I start moving it again. Okay. okay, so now to the main body. We're going to lay the 
knit the hard one in this case, down, flat, and in its intended position when you want it to end up. Just in for it, all the way along. Now again, if you want, you haven't got Down, just wet the pot slightly. Do exactly the same thing. I'm keeping on my vacuum just to make sure it dries and cools slightly quicker than it would otherwise. Okay, so we've got that section done. You can see a huge difference just in doing what I'm doing. Now, again, we want it absolutely flat. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to steam it through because I have the facility to do that. I'm just trying to show you, you don't actually have to do that. You can just manipulate the bits if you think there's creases that you want to get out. Now, if you see any bobbling on your bit there, this is the time to get rid of it. You want to get rid of it when it's flat on the bit. And it's just easing up the areas that I want to look slightly puckered because of the ribbing of the bit. Just in here, just run over the root section so we have no pressure on it whatsoever. When you start manipulating this as the heat is there, we'll have to stretch that ribbing out, which is something we really don't want. Okay, we're just going to flip this over. Let's have gone back to the top of the garment again. Just move down. You don't necessarily have to do this because the steam from this generator is so powerful. I don't necessarily have to do this. But it does complete the job. It makes sure that every bit of it is uh, actually done. Any creases you saw there, I'm just easing out. Feel it, make sure it beats away, and effectively. Now completed anywhere.